Hello! Welcome to this Bacon Bits video where today we're going to discuss my absolute favorite new feature of Bacon 3.0 and that is the remote connection. I'm very excited about this. So I'm going to start, let's pick my favorite computer, yeah Bacon Me Crazy. And here you'll see, um, we'll go into a different video about this, but we have a revamped uh, endpoint detail page. It's much nicer to look at, it's a lot easier to get the information, but let's talk about the remote session, remote connection services. You see, there's now an entry for remote service. It's listed as ready. You can also tell that it's ready because the screen shell and file system buttons are enabled. And if you're working on a computer that does not have the remote um, service installed yet, under Actions, you can uh, install, re uh, install remote service. Because this is uh, up and running here, this button action changes to repair remote service, but we don't need to do that now. So let's do a screen connection uh, and, and get this going. Okay, now that the um, we've got this page up, let's connect. Uh, you'll see I have two options here. I could create a new connection or I could jump in on the active connection and let's see what's going on there. Here we are. We're now seeing a live VM running. And uh, what you see, everything in here is um, absolutely updatable. Um, editing a new file uh, via the remote uh, screen connection. Excellent. Oh, I can't spell. Let's go back and edit that. File save. Uh, now let's look at our shell connection. And. This you'll see, uh, this picks up the shell environment of your operating system. So here we are in a standard DOS shell. Let's go to C. Um, users, bacon admin, desktop. Let's list what's there. And there's that file, new text document. So let's find out what's inside that new text. Uh, let's do this. Look at that. Editing the new file via the remote screen connection. And that's exactly what we typed in the uh, screen connection itself. Now let's echo something in here. It's a new, um, let's echo in um, shell text input. Uh, we don't want to overwrite it, so let's do the double pipe sign. Perfect. There we go. We've now added new um, text to it. Uh, and lastly, let's make a file system connection. And here we have file system, go to users, and bacon admin, and desktop, and there you have it. Now if I wanted to download this file, I can just click it right here, and it downloads directly to um, my uh, local system, not to the bacon server. And additionally, uh, this is also a great window to um, upload files too. So let's get my pictures and upload a file this way. So you can see the download has happened and I'm gonna add a picture of everyone's favorite Michael McDonald with googly eyes. Okay Michael McDonald has been uploaded. Let's go back to the screen and have a look. And 
there you'll see. Uh, apologies, the uh, computer is in a different part of the country, so I am getting a little bit of uh, network lag there, but there's my Michael McDonald in its uh, full amazing glory with those uh, fantastic googly eyes. Uh, and a final note here, if I wanted to uh, change some of the quality settings, maybe my bandwidth is running uh, slow, uh, I can change the quality of this down to something pretty low and also change the frame rate. Let's make it, you know, if I'm using too much um, bandwidth. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of compression and artifacting in here now. Let's also just for fun look at this new text document to see that we have done a complete round trip of that text and editing from screen to shell to file system. And back over here, let's change the quality up to something a little bit more manageable. 50%. And there we go. Thank you for watching this Bacon Bits video. We'll check you out in the next one. Bye.